right. Long story short, we hit 24 hours. So I made it one day into my fast, right? And then I made tacos. It was a whole ordeal. They were extra good tacos because I didn't eat for a while though. But we did have to restart the fast. So we are at the 24 hour mark again. Judgment. Round two. Here we go. Ace of Cups. But you know, just one more day. <clears throat> it really shouldn't be that difficult. Especially because like I'm not setting alarms tomorrow. I'm just going to sleep as long as I want to sleep. Eight of Pentacles, because sometimes you should do that. And sleep is already a problem for me, magician. So I think I'm tired enough tonight that I'm definitely going to sleep. My last workouts got me like fucked up. It was like a leg day, but it was like a brutal leg day. King of Cups. And it's been a minute since I did legs, so I'm extra dead. But, I don't know. I got a lot done. The Hierophant. So I don't really feel bad about taking, you know, an, an extra day of being a little lazy. It'll be alright. Plus, I do work out again tomorrow. So, Five of Swords. I will be destroyed. Gotta rest up. Seven of Wands. Especially because, like, working out on top of, like, a fast is, like, ugh. You know, like, it's it's doable. It's not that hard. It's just, like, ugh. Eight of Wands. I'm already clumsy. See? See, this is what happens. But I digress. Um, I fucked around with, with my art a little bit more. I think... I think I'm going to make a second tarot deck. But the, the ones that I just ordered, instead of having those be the, the final versions, I think those are going to be the prototypes. And I might, I might sell those too, I'm not sure. But Temperance, in the original version that I, I made, it was just intended to contain the essence of the spirit so that it would not be in my fan anymore. Because that, uh, it started turning on by itself there's no reason for that to be a thing. So I went ahead and got it into a set of cards. And ever since I've done that, there's been no no kind of weird activity. I think we're good on that front. Ten of Swords and the Ten of Pentacles, though. It did get me thinking about whether or not I should keep the images on my computer. They also have my ancestral sigil that I've been using for, I don't know, God, my whole life. Page of Pentacles and the world. The um, the symbol inside of my circle here, in actuality, it would be reversed because of, you know, the way the camera is and everything. But that symbol, I, I like made up some kind of language when I was like, I don't know, 10, 11 years old. And this was the letter S. And it was always my favorite. And I just wrote it on everything. I scribbled it everywhere. Page of Swords. And I don't know, I just like, out of all of the symbols I used in that like made up language, I didn't really like hold on to the memory of any of them specifically except for that one. And when I, I decided to make a family like sigil to use in, you know, my purposes, high priestess, it's ancestral practice, you know, you gotta be able to summon your ancestors, connect with them. That was the symbol I chose to use because it felt natural. The Devil and the Eight of Cups. Walking away from my addictions. I think that sacrifice is what led them to deposit the essence in the lantern. Because they knew that I would use it, the star. Because there, there's no way that they would put something like that in my path without a purpose. It was meant to better me, not to be a problem for me. You know what I mean? Like, spirit must have anticipated that that's what I would do. Seven of Cups. And known that I would intuitively choose the right option here. So why would spirit, my ancestors, source, give me clay 
if they didn't want me to mold with it. Three of Cups. So instead of just keeping the one Empress card as the incarnation of the Firebird, I'm going to really utilize that that ability that for the Firebird to transform, rebirth itself. And I'm going to use the AI to feed it back recreations of itself in various incarnations, like the High Priestess here. Two of Cups. When I get that inspiration to make a new card, I'm going to do what I did with this and just like take the original version of the Firebird, you know, post transmutation, and I'm going to combine that with the concept words and an image that would help it translate the character. So the Firebird, it almost has like a specter-like appearance. So if I combine that with, say, the High Priestess card that we designed that has like a female silhouette with, the, you know, a particular hairstyle, and we say, I don't know, did the concept Sophia keywords, Empress and the Six of Wands, it probably would have created something that was like truly a hybrid. And what we wound up with was like a roundabout different method of that that included like the Emperor and a bunch of other like little side steps because I was just experimenting, you know? But like we still wound up with a damn good Empress card. So I don't know. I might just like wait for moments of inspiration to strike and then take a stab at transforming her again. Queen of Pentacles. And eventually, at the very least, I'd have a Firebird version of every major arcana. It would be like the Firebird just playing different roles in the deck. I think that could be a really fun concept. I don't know if I would do that for, you know, like the suits or not, but I had trouble getting the AI to actually like make the correct number of sticks and everything, King of Wands. Like, for example, our Nine of Wands card only has eight wands in there. And like, <laughs> it got to a point where I was I was out of tries and I only had, you know, the four images for the pool for that card. So I had to, I had to pick one. I picked the closest one I could. So there's things like that we're gonna have to fine tune where I might just get rid of the sticks altogether and have them conceptualize the emotion of the card. I don't know, I'm really just thinking about ideas right now. But it got me thinking about making like, I don't know, may, maybe like an oracle deck too. Three of Wands and the Four of Wands. Because I haven't really had success incorporating other oracle decks. Six of Cups. They haven't flown as well as I would like. And I'm hoping that maybe if I can choose my own images and keywords and like concepts for an oracle, that I'll be able to draw on it easier. Get like those intuitive bursts from it better. Queen of Cups. Maybe use them to highlight particular situations or context that I can apply in combination with the cards and synchronicities. That could be onto something. But yeah, this reading really has no purpose other than for me to just bounce creative ideas, Queen of Wands and the Nine of Cups, because I am again in an overflow of creative energy right now. It's surplus, it's excess, and I have nothing but energy. Nine of Pentacles. Even though I'm tired, I'm still just like buzzing. I don't know. Maybe it's planetary. Maybe it's just the whole new vibe. Maybe this is the new normal. I don't know. But it's been a hell of a ride. I knew things were going to get interesting, but this is wild. Once again, thanks for being part of the journey, guys. We're all key players in the story. Wonder what happens next. Judgment. Ace of Pentacles. Emperor. Ace of Wands.